So well, good morning. Good morning. We are here at a uh, man of this Tottenham School here in Monrovia. So, see how Liberians have turned out. And we have uh, former Dread President, you know, Junior here. First and foremost, on behalf of the West African Elders Forum that we're here, the former Prime Minister of Burkina Faso, and former President of uh, ECOWAS, where we live, and now uh, other members, we have to commend Liberia for the peaceful elections in October 10. And I hope that today's election will go the same way. And I did mention that time that Liberia is dear to ECOWAS, dear to Africa. We are quite proud that democracy is consolidating in this country. Seeing the peaceful transition and credible elections that took place since after the Civil War, almost 20 years ago. So we are very hopeful that today's elections will be as peaceful as the previous one, and especially in line with the Farmington River Peace Declaration that the key actors have agreed to. We plead that our political leaders and our youth supporters should maintain that level of discipline, level of patriotism, and make sure that everybody should know that Liberia as a nation must be there before anybody can become a president. We must have Liberia before anybody can become a youth leader. We must have Liberia before anybody can become a parliamentarian. We must have Liberia before we become a, a chieftain of any political party. So we must collectively protect the interests of the country. No election that must be a winner. And in this case, two people. And from the last result, both of them are 43 point something, 43 point something percent. That means that both of them are equally accepted by Liberia. Any of them can compete to around the affairs of the country. So whatever, whatever way the election goes, Liberians should accept and make sure that they work towards the development, okay. the economic growth of the country. And uh, I remember the other, uh, the, the October 10 election, I did mention that I have never seen the number of interest groups, the number of international observers that came to about that election. I have never seen that in Africa. I have gone to so many countries of that. That shows that Liberia is not only dear to Africa, but dear to the global community. Okay, so uh, on yesterday there was a photo showing that you met with the National Elections Commission, also the uh, the leader the party, standard bearer Joseph Waba, and also uh, I, I hope that you also be seen with the president as well, the Ikube. Uh, what sort of commitment have you been getting, especially with those that you've been meeting around the team? With the, the electoral commission, the NEC, the two. And that bearers for the NAP party, the Congress for Democratic Change, both com next serious commitment to a credible election. Next, so that they are fully ready and they are sure that the election will be credible. Both key actors also said that. We also met with the Honorable Attorney General and the uh, Security Committee and they also promised that the election will be credible, the election will be well monitored and managed by the Secretary of the So I believe the remaining people are the young people, the youth like you. Anywhere in the world is the youth that can bring peace. They are the only people that can also create crisis. So help us to talk to them that they must take this conference. Two candidates are good people. That's why they got 43 point something, 43 point something percent in the first round of the election. So Liberia must be ready to work with whoever wins for the collective interest of our citizens. The collective interest of ECOWAS at the West African Elders Forum represent the collective interest of Africa. Yeah, Mr. President, uh, you observed the first election and uh, Liberia has a constitutional requirement that uh, there should be absolute majority, majority of the people voting for someone to win election. That's why we are here for the second round. 
Uh, we saw in Sierra Leone, uh, there was no issue about second round. The person who won the election won by less than 50% of the vote. Nigeria, your country too as well. What type of lesson can other countries around the, the, the region learn in terms of this constitutional requirement for absolute majority? Can that be... Uh, 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 frankly example? speaking, the issue of um, absolute majority is good. At least you need 50% plus one vote. That is marginal majority actually, not absolute majority. 50% of the votes plus one. Marginal majority. Well, you know, democracy is about majority. My country is big and complex with different tribes. So we didn't uh, maintain that issue of 50% plus one. We should spread. We have the six days. So if I can get a 5% of the third of the 36 days, including the federal capitality, making it at seven, they feel that you have sufficiently, you are sufficiently accepted across the country. So they will not need the 50% uh, plus one vote. That's why from 1999 to the period that comes until now, no, uh, the, the emphasis was not on 50% uh, plus one vote. But the idea of countries especially where the population is not too big, to insist that you should get about 50% and uh, one, to show that you get uh, democratically elected, because democracy are by the majority, I think it's, it's a good idea. And also bring peace. Because, you know, at the end of the first round of elections, all those candidates that lost will form coalitions with the two top candidates. So the next round of elections, you are not going with just two parties, but you are going, technically, you are going with two coalitions. And that will bring uh, more flexibility and the peace to the country. So I don't condemn it. I think they can experiment, but with time, if they feel that they could change the constitution to be amended by the parliament. Mr. President, I continue hearing you repeatedly said, anyone wins, the librarians should accept it and move on. Are you also concerned about the process, the procedure, in terms of transparency? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that somebody should manipulate the process and they announce. We're saying that elections must be credible, must be transparent. Must just be credible, but it seems to be credible by the citizens and the international observer. So when that process is followed, and if a winner emerges, then I will plead with Liberia to accept. Because from the assessment for the three for three from the first election, it means that two of them are good people. Two I, of them from, are competent. Of, That's what I'm saying. From your own assessment, the process is leading to this election of Putin. What is what is your own impression in terms of credibility, transparency? So far, I can commend the next. So far, I've got quite a number of elections. Yes, every election there may be few uh, gray areas, brown spots. But on the overall, the next did well. And knowing fully well that this is the first election they are conducting without the assistance of the U.S. And they did very well in the October 10th, where we have so many candidates. Even for the presidential candidates, so many, then parliamentary elections, so many. This one that just two candidates, and they have also told us that they have rejected, they have looked at some of the areas where they have issues, and they have tried to. So I believe that this election will come out better than even the first one. Mr. Mr. President, my name is Emmanuel Kony. I report for the State Broadcasting. As a former president of Nigeria, I mean, I want to know the prospects for Liberia's runoff election today. Yes, that's what we've been talking. Uh, uh, I'm quite uh, very hopeful. The spirits are very, very high, and the uh, turnout is quite encouraging because it's just early money. And I must also commend Liberia for their patriotism, their commitment to elect a leader. The October 10th, first level of election, the turnout was massive. We went to so many places. Some places voted late into the morning. This morning, we've seen a reasonable uh, turnout too. So to me, Liberians should be happy. And I'm happy with them for that patriotism, that, that sheer of concern, that determination to elect a leader. That's democracy. Democracy is about the people selecting their leader. 
And that is why I emphasize clearly that the process must be credible, must be transparent. And that is the only way you can say you have well, won the election to win the vote. If you manipulate the system in one way or the other, you, you may not be accepted by the general public. But before I leave, I'm not alone. You need to hear the voice of uh, another West African leader that has always been, we were here together. So he has his call, a short message for the people of Liberia. I just went to uh, Mr. Kadri Desire Wedrogo, former Prime Minister of Burkina Faso and former President of the ECOWAS Commission and members of the West Africa Elders Forum. So our role uh, in the West Africa Elders Forum is uh, a kind of uh, assistance role, advisory role, and also facilitation role to make sure that during the electoral processes, peace and transparency prevail. And I want to commend the Liberian people for the orderly manner that this electoral process is being carried out. We feel encouraged and we appeal to all the citizens to participate fully to this election because peace and stability in West Africa depend on the quality of our electoral processes. This is the reason why we attach a great importance of this election here in Liberia because we wish peace in Liberia, stability in Liberia, and also democracy in Liberia and all over the ECOWAS region. So we have observed some polling stations here, and we must say that uh, everything is in order. The polling agents are very competent. Operation starts in time, and we hope that this will continue till the end of the process. So this is what I just wanted to add to what he was saying. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining Spawn TV here live from 12th Street in where Liberians have come to cure and cast their votes this morning in the run of presidential election in the country and we are following this live international observers former president of Nigeria the Federal Republic of Nigeria uh, President Claude Junitor flanked by former uh, Boswana Prime Minister, they have come to also observe this process. As you can see, Liberians are making the way into the very polling places to cast their votes this morning, very dear to their heart, in this crucial, crucial, critical run of election where uh, the first round of the election, the presidential election, we saw 20 presidential candidates. Two of those presidential candidates, major opposition rival to the opposite, to the ruling party, the Coalition for Democratic Change (CDC), got uh, a little over 43 percent. The same thing with the opposition unity party I got 43 percent plus but CDC led the race in the first round and this is the second round as you can see here uh, they uh, also they spoke about the turnout and uh, the former Nigerian president used the occasion to comment the electoral body for conducting the first round of the election, especially without uh, assistance from regional bodies and all of that. So, Liberians are here making uh, rounds, and uh, this is a queue here. Gradually, gradually, uh, there are. There are several polling places at this precinct, and Liberians are here making their way in 
to these places to cast a vote this morning. Obviously, uh, in Liberia, the second round of the election, the turnout, always uh, not as compared to the first round of the election due to the legislative elections. So we, for this process, there's no more elections for representatives and senators. So as such, the turnout seems to be gradual as compared to the first round of the election. But how be it Liberians are gradually, gradually in queues here at the Willem V. Stuttman School where they have come to cast uh, their ballot. Uh, there are several polling places here, four. Uh, in fact, five polling places, but a matter of fact, five polling places. And each polling place has uh, a queue and people are gradually, gradually making their way into the hall to cast a vote. Former Nigerian president, Dr. Gulo Junetan, the head of the West African Elders Forum. So we're going to be taking you through this uh, process today, bringing update on the electoral process throughout the country. Yeah. So it's an exciting moment that several of our compatriots have come to exercise their rights today. And so the queue is gradually, gradually moving. And this is it here. You're inside. Back in the way into the hall and to cast the force this morning. And so, uh, several pudding places here at this end. And uh, we're going to be giving up this on the process as we go along. My name is Trokon Flammer. And Liberia decides today, finally, this is complete simple majority this time around. No more absolute majority. Simple majority. Anyone who has... Uh, 50% plus one takes the day. So thank you so much. We call a day and go to another spot as we bring you up to it from the electoral process around Monrovia. My name is Stroke on the of my